Today on the channel, the two most influential and important characters in Star Wars of all time. We've got Neon Numb and Admiral Akbar. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel as we continue our daily Star Wars unboxings in 2021. And today we are unboxing two of the most important characters in the Star Wars universe, that big old Neon Numb and Admiral Ackbar. But remember, for all your modern day Star Wars needs, hit up Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. But today... We're unboxing two of my favorites. It's always exciting when we get to unbox an Admiral Akbar figure and Neon Numb as well. So today, let's do it. Let's unbox Neon Numb first. We'll save Admiral Akbar for last. The best for last, some might say. But uh, old Neon Numb, what an amazing adventure with old Neon Numb in the Return of the Jedi on, on the Falcon with old Lando Calrissian. I mean, they just did what Han and Chewie probably couldn't. They uh, helped win the battle, win the war, and uh, steal all of our hearts in the process. But something about a fish-looking type character flying a plane, or not even a plane, a spaceship, just something about that resonated with uh, young Kyle and old Kyle. So Dion Numb, I will always cherish him. I had the original Kenner figure back in the day. I always enjoyed having that one as well. Happy to have this one in my collection once again. So let's take a look at him. Old Neon Numb in that traditional green power of the force carding. Looking only like he can look. Look at that beautiful glamour shot of him. I almost want to just put that, uh, print that out and put it in my wallet. And just, you know, instead of showing pictures of my kids, I'll show pictures of Neon Numb to everybody. Comes with a, a gun and a blaster. I believe that's the Han Solo, yep, Han Solo blaster. Not sure why he comes with these weapons, because I don't really recall him having a weapon in the movie at any time. Uh, maybe I'm wrong there, but I think they just said, eh, let's throw these weapons in with him. Okay, whatever works. Star Wars Power of the Force, Darth Vader, Darth Vader, there's his name, all that fun stuff. And then on the back, of course... Look at that beautiful glamour shot. Maybe that's the one I need in my wallet. I don't know. Somebody to choose. Maybe, why not do both? I mean, might as well. You got the, uh, they're promoting down below. Gotta love the promoting. Promoting vehicles and figures. Got the UPC, the Kenner logo, warnings, all that fun stuff. Let's see what it says about old Neon. Neon Numb. Or is it Neon? Neon? Neon. Neon Numb to me. We'll call him Neon. Neon, I don't know. He's 1.6 meters tall, I'll tell you that much. He's also a rebel pilot and a navigator. I've heard that uh, he does an amazing job on family trips, especially back before GPS. He would bust out the old Rand McNally. He didn't even need it half the time. He would just know. He had a natural compass, uh, and that was old Neon Numb there. Classification, a Solistan. Mm, okay, a Solistan is his people. Affiliation, Rebel Alliance. Weapon of choice is the blaster pistol, uh, like a lot of people. So there it is, Neon Numb. Let's open him up. Let's see what's going on in here. Let's see how much we like this one. I think we're going to like it a lot. Blaster pistol and blaster rifle. See you later. There he goes. Got the old plastic prison shot. It looks like, I don't know if the colors faded over time or if it just wasn't as bright. I remember the old school Kenner one being a lot brighter, more vibrant red. Maybe I'm wrong there. This is almost a salmon. Kind of a reddish, darker red salmon color. Which is really in these days. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a paint imperfection on Neon's butt, it looks like. Oh, yeah, we do. That's hard times. That's hard times on old Neon back here. Show you guys in a second. Let me get these out. There it is. See you later. Well, that really... I'm glad I don't display my figures backwards. Because look at that. How bad is that? Right on his back of his butt there. He's been sitting too long in the cockpit, and that just wore out, I guess. It's the only thing I can think of. Put that old blaster in his hand. I don't know. It just seems weird to see him with a gun, but I'm, I'm sure. You know, of course, if you're going to pilot the Falcon, you've got to have a vest, and that's what Neon's got. Just like Han, just like Lando. The vests were all the rage in the Star Wars universe. I would love to see some patches on those vests, but, you know, back then they really didn't do a lot of that kind of stuff. But I love this figure. I love Neon. I just think he's got a great face. A beautiful face. Some would say a face only a mother could love, but no, that's not true because I love it. 
Uh, so I love this figure. One of my favorite characters. It's a little tongue-in-cheek. Obviously, he's not the most important character, but just something about him and Admiral Akbar, which we're going to get to. When I saw them on screen for the first time, I was, what am I looking at? I can't believe this. This is a good guy. He's not, you know, they did a really good job for alien race relations in the Star Wars movies, because normally you think these aliens, oh my gosh, they're going to kill you. They're out to get you. No, not Neon. He's here to navigate, help the Falcon, help the Rebel Alliance, and uh, you couldn't ask for more from a better guy, if you ask me. Always, uh, I don't know what he was saying half the time in the movie, actually any other time in the movie, but it seemed very jolly and seemed very happy. So he can't be an all-around bad guy. I hope one of these days we'll get our own Disney Plus uh, series. Maybe Neon and Admiral, they could be kind of a buddy cop uh, flying through space. Man, take my money now. Take all of it. I'll pre-order. I'll got to do whatever I got to do to get that Neon Numb Admiral Akbar buddy comedy. Sign it up. Sign it up right now. So there's old Neon. Let's open up the Admiral. A long time viewers of my channel know I love an Admiral Akbar figure. I can never turn down an Admiral Akbar figure. Uh, just something about him, much like Neon, just crazy to see uh, a fish person flying a spaceship. It just doesn't make sense. These guys need to be underwater. What are they doing? But, uh, you know, they're just breaking ground, breaking barriers for fish type people all over the universe. And that's what a Admiral Akbar. Just all business. And he also, as we all know, he alerted the world to it's a trap and saved millions in the process. It is truly a trap. Packaging very similar to Neon down there. A great picture of uh, old Admiral right here. You know, hands on hips, like what is going on here? Just an awesome Admiral. One of the greatest uh, Admirals of all time. Admiral Flag would be up there from G.I. Joe, but I got to put Akbar a little bit ahead because he's, he's space cowboy in the universe, not just the, the sea like a uh, general flag. Um, there's the back. There it is. Look at that great picture, Admiral. This look of, I don't know. He just doesn't know what's going on. Uh, usual stuff on the bottom. You got warnings, UPCs, Kenner logo, vehicles, figures, promoting, promoting, promoting. Let's find out how tall the Admiral is though. 1.88 meters. So he's a little taller than old Neon over here. Uh, status and Admiral in the Rebel Alliance fleet. Uh, of course, he is a member of the Mon Calamari. Uh, Rebel Alliance's affiliation is vehicle of choice is the Mon Calamari MC-80 Star Cruiser. When are we going to get that, Hasbro? Come out with that for us. I would buy that day one. I'll pre-order it right now. He comes with his Comlink Wrist Blaster. And once again, Admiral, I don't remember him having to use weapons. He uses his mind. He teaches and trains and, and directs traffic. And see you later. Uh, that's what he does. See you later. And see you later. Plastic prison, the old admiral, locked away, soon to be free. I guess he has to have this wrist blaster because he's got such crazy hands. See you later. I guess you got to put these on here. I don't know if he's, uh, hmm, that's an interesting one. I don't know if he's kind of faded over time. Is He looks a little like, uh, a little green in the gills, no pun intended, for the old admiral. I like it, though. This is Admiral. When we think of Admiral, this is who we think of. Another original Kenner figure I had, along with him, back in the day that I absolutely loved as a kid. I love his crazy big fish hands. Just seems like a guy I could just sit down and, and be buddies with, old Admiral Akbar. What a legend. What a legend. Look at that blaster. I think it's a one-off. I don't think they got any reuse out of that. Like, we see Han Solo's blaster used all the time. I don't think Admiral Akbar's got used all the time. I'm all in. Sign me up. Give me more. Give me the whole Mon Calamari Warriors. Give me all of them. I want every single one of them in my collection. But there it is. Two amazing figures from the Power of the Force line. Two of the greatest Star Wars characters of all time, or at least two of my favorites. Uh, I love these bit characters, and I love to think of what they're doing, what they're up to, and hopefully maybe their stories get flushed out another day. You never know the way things are going in the Star Wars universe. We might see the return of these guys uh, one day down the line, and I, as long as most of you, I'm sure, would be all for it. So there you go. Another Star Wars video done for today. We'll be back with another one tomorrow, so don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And for the old Neon Numb and Admiral Akbar, I'm Kyle. I will see you guys real soon.